Waging war on corruption. Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. Big Brother. Mainstream media. Government cover-ups. You want answers? Well, so does he. He's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. And now, live from Austin, Texas, Alex Jones. Welcome back to the Alex Jones Show. I am David Knight here in Austin. I'm your host today, but I'm joined at the moment with Paul Joseph Watson from the UK. We've been talking about his articles up on Infowars.com. One of them is CBS News and Charlie Rose uh, essentially bragging to the public now about how wonderful these smart streetlights are, that they can track everything we do all the time. But don't worry, it's all about saving energy. But they keep throwing in these references to Orwell, talking about a, isn't this Orwellian? They mention that several times in it. They talk about how they've got a global network. They talk about how they're going to be able to use it to protect the children at school because they're also going to be able to not just track your, moment, uh, your movements, not just read your license plate, but they're going to be able to determine if somebody's got a gun on them. That's what these streetlights are capable of. And as Paul mentioned, they've already... It's already come out that these streetlights are capable of recording and storing phone conversations. It really is a panopticon, isn't it, Paul? Well, precisely. And, of course, the interest in all this was, you know, rejuvenated last year by the Snowden revelations. As you mentioned before the break now, Greenwald is saying that he had this big revelation coming whereby we would learn exactly what organizations and individuals the NSA was spying on directly. Now he's delayed it after announcing that it would be released at midnight last night because he says the, the United States government suddenly began making new last minute claims which we intend to investigate before publishing, which is surprising because if you read his book, um, the same thing happened on numerous occasions right before a new Snowden revelation was due to be released. The US government tried to put pressure on not only Greenwald, but also the Guardian newspaper, not to release that story. So, you know, he, he defied them then. He refused to listen to anything they had to say. But now he's apparently uh, listened to their concerns and has delayed the story. There's also another aspect to it, which is that, and this is on Infowars.com today, the uh, leak whistleblower website Cryptome.org has announced that they're going to release all the Snowden documents later this month quote, in order to avert a war. So, of course, whereas Greenwald has been doling them out one by one slowly, which is probably the best method to keep it in the news, Krypton has announced that they're set to release all the Snowden documents in one huge data dump. So that yeah. will satisfy some of the people who have called for that, but also will kind of derail it being in the news constantly by Greenwald's preferred method of doling them out. Well, and of course, you know, you can look at that any number of ways. I mean, I, personally, I want to see them all come out. I think we're perfectly capable of having a crowdsourced investigation. And I think a lot of people have been uncomfortable with the way they've been doled out to keep it in the news as to promote his book or whatever. Uh, and so I welcome the fact that they will come out. I, I'm kind of concerned about Cryptome. I hope that uh, they're not going to get shut down by talking about this earlier. But I, I think the danger of putting these, I mean, there, you can say... You can, you can make a case on either side of this. You can say that it keeps it in the news. But the other thing that you could say is that perhaps it, by pulling it out one piece at a time, maybe it's getting people too accustomed to it. Maybe if it was a giant shock all at once. So hopefully there's a lot of stuff here that's going to shock people. I was looking forward to uh, this, this leak because I thought that finally some of these people who may be surprised that they are being watched might get galvanized to take action rather than uh, sit on the sidelines. What you were just talking about before, the panopticon effect of trying to intimidate people to not say anything. Hey, if you know that your name's on the list, go for it. Well, precisely. And it would be fascinating to find out who is on that list, but I mean, I hope we're on it. Saying, <laughs> I hope we're on it. I'd be disappointed if we're not on it, wouldn't you? I mean, <laughs> in, in some fashion, I would hope that we were on it, whether they were just monitoring our content or, you know, Alex individually or whoever. Mm -hmm. I would hope that we were on it because it is, it's a kind of badge of honor. Like you said, once you get past the point of fear, it's like, I don't care if you're watching me, you know, that's if, right. if you're over the target and you, then you're taking flight, then that's, that's all well and good. But, yeah, right. if they if they dump the whole document, there are going to be a thousand different writers and researchers, me included, who are going to be digging into it for new stories. So it's an information said, war, isn't it, Paul? 
It's an information war, and once you get past your first battle, it's like a real war. You're in it at that point. Thank you so much for joining us. Paul Joseph Watson from the UK. Stay with us. We'll be right I've back. I've always believed in nutrition and herbs. Super Male Vitality was developed to activate your body's own natural processes instead of using synthetic chemicals sourced from powerful organic herbs harvested around the planet and then concentrated for maximum potency. I just received my Male Vitality about three days ago, and I must say that is some good stuff. After consulting top doctors, nutritionists, pharmacists, and others, we have developed what I believe is the ultimate non-GMO organic super male vitality formula. Super Male Vitality by InfoWars Life is so powerful that I only take half the recommended dose. I jump out of bed ready to fight these criminals every day. I look forward to waking up and taking my Super Male Vitality and get the day started. It's not just the Super Male Vitality. All the products at InfoWarsLife.com are simply amazing. Visit InfoWarsLife.com today to secure your Super Male Vitality and other powerful products from InfoWars Life. A chemical spill contaminating the water supply in nine West Virginia counties. This year alone, over 300,000 people in West Virginia had their drinking water contaminated. What are the health effects of having these drugs in our drinking water? It's forced medical treatment without the consent of residents. My friends, water filtration is one of the most basic actions you can take to protect you and your family from the harmful toxins and heavy metals in your tap water. On average, the county says it sprays with the glyphosate at least once a week. Few filters cut out the glyphosate that is found in water supply worldwide. Remove pesticides, herbicides, chloramines, hydrofluorosilicic acid, sodium hexafluorosilicate. Fluoride it is in tea, it's in coffee, it's in water, it's in bread, it's in toothpaste. It is our responsibility to protect our families. The establishment's not going to do it. It's time to take action. It's time to filter our water. Visit InfoWarsStore.com and use promo code WATER to get 10% off their entire family of incredible products. Or call toll-free 888-253-3139. Hi, I'm Dr. Edward Group. It took me 20 years of searching the globe to find the deposit of the highest purity iodine available. The new Survival Shield X2 is mined from 7 to 10,000 feet below the earth in pristine, environmentally clean conditions. The iodine crystals we use are extracted from an ancient 300 million plus year old deposit deep in the earth. It's the strongest nascent iodine on the market today. It delivers 650 micrograms per drop. Experience the new formula. Experience the ancient purity. Shield your family. Survival Shield X2, available now at InfoWarsLife.com. X2 from InfoWarsLife.com or call toll free 888-253-3139. The Genesis Communications Radio Network proudly presents The Alex Jones Show, because there's a war on for your mind. Welcome back to The Alex Jones Show. I'm David Knight, your host today. Up on Infowars.com, we have an article, Obama orders more troops, gunships, and drones to Iraq. It says this announcement will bring to nearly 800 total number of U.S. forces going back to Iraq. Now remember, at first he wasn't going to send anybody. Then it was going to be 300. Then it became 500. Now we've confirmed it's 800. Paul Joseph Watson, who I was just talking to in the UK, has been sent communications from many people in the military saying that their training and their entire units are going in February of next year. So this is a re-escalation of the war in Iraq. We're going to have joining us in the third hour, Peter Van Buren, he was a U.S. diplomat for 23 years. He spent time in Iraq as part of the effort to, quote-unquote, reconstitute Iraq or to uh, reconstruct it. Um, as somebody from the South who knows that history, when I hear the words reconstruction, I grab for my gun because I know what they did there. But they're going to reconstruct a, a, an area that they've already uh, destroyed. We're going to talk to him about what he saw in Iraq. We're going to talk to him about... The embassy there in Iraq, this massive presence there, as well as the revelations that came out from the New York Times on Sunday about the attitude of Blackwater threatening State Department investigators saying, if you bother me, I will kill you. And there's nothing anyone could or would do about it because this is Iraq. 
That's what Blackwater was telling State Department investigators. So we're going to talk to Peter Van Buren about that. We're also going to talk to him about his book, Ghost of Tom Joe, the story of the 99%. And of course, today in the news on BBC, we have an internet billionaire, Nick Hanauer, who warns of a coming revolution. He's made a lot of money off of the internet, and he has a warning for his fellow gazillionaires. He says, if we don't do something to fix the glaring inequities in this economy, the pitchforks are going to be coming for us. He says, uh, do you think the U.S. is special? Is it different? You're wrong. No nation is immune. Just ask the Russian czars or the French aristocracy. And so we're going to be talking to Peter Van Buren about the ghost of Tom Jode. He takes the story, of course, Tom Jode is the character, if you remember, from The Grapes of Wrath. It was the uh, central character, the character played by Henry Fonda in the movie. Uh, he kind of updates that from the Great Depression to the 1950s and on. So instead of the Dust Bowl, we've got the Rust Belt. And he updates that uh, idea. Now, this billionaire here, the uh, Nick Hanauer, who was speaking in the BBC, he thinks this can all be saved by creating a new minimum wage. I don't think that you can mandate wealth out of the central government. I think that what we ought to mandate is freedom and dignity. Maybe we ought to mandate the Bill of Rights. If we do that sort of thing, that's what's going to turn it around. It's people having control of their life. If they have control and freedom in their life, if everything is not owned by just a handful of people if we stop this consolidation somehow. Uh, and I think the way to do it is to not allow the government to become the instrument of these corporations. They always use the government to shut down competition. So I think the key thing is to establish individual rights. Certainly isn't going to help, I don't think, to raise minimum wages because that just gets eaten up by inflation. Now, of course, there's breaking News on the immigration front as well. We see that uh, a sheriff has said that we come across decomposed bodies of immigrants quite often, as reported by CBS News. Isn't it interesting that there's been so much said about the three teenagers in Israel who were killed, and yet people are not talking about the admissions of this sheriff and others who are saying after they found this 11-year-old Guatemalan boy, the sheriff says, down here, finding a decomposed body, well, we come across them quite often, and that's the Sheriff Eddie Guerra. See, the person who is creating these types of circumstances, of course, is Barack Obama. As the Border Patrol agents who have talked to us have said, nothing has changed in those countries recently. What has changed is the way the immigrants are being handled and the messages that's being sent to them. So we've got some reports. We've had reporters down there at the border. And we've got a report from John Bound about the real problem, terrorists. We have the people at the TSA coming down and everybody. What about our open borders? Here's John Bound's report. These cities just above the U.S.-Mexico border don't receive any federal funding. The law-abiding, land-owning residents of towns such as Falfurius, Texas, are overrun by a tsunami of illegals as a result of what's called the funnel effect. The militarization of the border, which includes checkpoints, barriers, and security technology, diverts the human smuggling operations into treacherous, searing, and rugged terrain that delivers many illegal aliens to their deaths. And ranch owners and Texas border volunteer founders Mike and Linda Vickers contending with the outcome. What they are about to tell you may cause alarm because America isn't simply being invaded by countries south of its border. It is increasingly being invaded by countries from all over the world. Can you speak about your organization and explain where some of your volunteers come from and who they are? They, actually, we even have a, a lot of out-of-staters, uh, Nebraska, Massachusetts, uh, North Carolina, Oklahoma, many from Florida. Uh, part of our mission is to enforce or help assist Border Patrol and other law enforcement entities out here. We. Uh, we'll post out on these heavily trafficked areas and uh, report uh, specific numbers to Border Patrol, specific locations, uh, and they have learned that uh, uh, we're a big help. We're like extra eyes and ears out here. Um, we also, a big part of our mission is awareness, and uh, we do many speaking engagements to uh, let people know exactly what's going on out here and what we're seeing, uh, despite what 